So, came up with a solid plan for the front steering and suspension. Uh, now it's time to, you know, make it happen. Right now I'm making the uh, spindle pieces, and they're at an angle like that so that I can have some KPI. So we zero it on the table, and then 11.3 degrees of KPI, which I want a little bit more. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna break the tack. I want about 12 degrees. Got my spindles all welded up here. Uh, obviously they don't have the steering arm on them yet, but I'll add that in later once I figure out where everything else goes. So, that's how that fits in the wheel. And then I'm starting to work on the control arm here. It's, uh, it's not that complicated. It's just a lot of different things to think about and where to put things. But that pivot will probably be somewhere around there. We're not gonna have two control arms or it's not gonna be a double A arm. It's just gonna be a single A arm um, for simplicity and space. So I've got the left side control arm uh, sort of tacked together here. It's not completely finished, but it's finished enough that we can uh, have some steering and we can have some suspension travel. Not very much, because right now it's fully bottomed out. These two himes here, I'm gonna add in a brace right here for strength, but these two himes, uh, if you adjust them, they have opposite effects. So if you adjust this one out, it puts the tire closer to vertical. It cambers the top of the tire out. And it also reduces caster because it's at an angle like this. It pushes the top of the steering pivot forward. Or I could adjust this one closer to the vehicle. It would give it more caster and more camber. Just depends on which one, which way you want to do it. I don't know if that makes any sense. It still doesn't make sense to me either, but. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be easier there's to a, show when we're actually. Adjustment. Yeah. When we're actually adjusting, it'll be easier to show what's going yeah. on. As it travels, the camber changes directly with the travel. So, you know, at full, full compression, it's cambered in. Here it's cambered, well, I don't know, closer to vertical anyway. What that means is that we can have it set to an excessive amount of camber when it's at full drop, just so that it looks ridiculous. And then when we air it up a little bit to drive it, it'll be more of a reasonable amount of camber. Yeah, you put that together pretty quick, but now it's time for the hard part. Yeah, the hard part's replicating it on the other side. I can't just like make a jig out of this one because it has to be the opposite. And uh, you know, this one I just made it to fit the space. <laughs> the other one I have to make exactly like this. That'll be fine. Hey guys, we're about to do another day on the Camaro, but first we gotta talk about coffee. This video is sponsored by Trade Coffee. They just had us do their whole online experience and it was awesome. They match you to your coffee based on how you like to drink it after filling out their quick and easy online quiz. And the coffee is roasted to order, so it's super fresh. It's awesome. Trade partners with 50 of the nation's best roasters and features over 400 coffees. They match you to your coffee based on how you like to drink it. Now for me, I like dark coffee. I drink it black and I use a French press. And they sent me the perfect coffee for my needs. For me, coffee is all about the conversation and the smell. One of my favorite parts about Trade is that you can order with confidence. 
all their beans are ethically sourced and you know that the money at the end of the day is actually getting to the farmers, which is really important in the coffee world. And Trade is gonna give you the best price you can find on this quality of coffee. So, the first hundred of you guys that get to our link in the description and use the code PLUMBING are gonna get 30% off your first bag. So, go check out that link, give Trade a try, tell us what you think, and make sure you use that code PLUMBING to save 30% off. All right, let's get back to building on this Camaro. So, I've been measuring some things here, and uh, there's still some adjustability, but that's it, essentially as low as the suspension will ever travel right there. 1.5 degrees uh, out at the top, and then traveled all the way up, it'll be somewhere around there, which is around 13-ish degrees cambered in at the top. So when it's dropped all the way down, sitting on the frame, it's gonna be like cambered right into the fenders. Oh yeah, <laughs> so sick. I mean, I could go forward with the shock, but then I might be an idiot and have to redo like this whole thing. I wanna make sure that I can make the steering work. Um, I should have thought of it a little sooner, but I didn't. So <laughs> now um, I made this just really rough thing and I just wanted to see if it's gonna get, you know, a reasonable amount of travel. Testing the angle on the Mustang. Yeah, I just want to have something to compare it to, so let's see what's reasonable. Well, we know the Mustang does some tight cookies, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and look at all that space. Yeah. shock mount uh, tube going here. It's not overly complicated aside from the notches, but um, so it'll, the shock will mount onto it here and then I'll add some reinforcements in later. Like I'll probably tie it into this right here. And then uh, from this point here, I'll probably go down to the engine mount, brace that down or something like that. But for now, I just need something to mount the shock to so I can test the travel and all that. Um, and I'm making sure that it clears the tire when it's at full lock, which I don't know what full lock is yet, so I'm just kind of estimating. Yeah, it also acts as like the footrest, you know, or the support for a footboard or whatever we put there. Got my shock mount bar in and a uh, couple of uh, little tabs there. So now we can see the suspension travel. Pretty sweet. So cool. Now we can get a measurement on how much travel it has. Let's see here. That's right at two and a half inches at the bottom of the travel. About six. Yeah, three and a half three inches and a half inch. of travel. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That is awesome. So I was thinking about how to make this side exactly the same as the other side, and then I realized that's why I built a welding table. So I just took this bolt for this spindle and I just tacked it onto the table. I measured and got it exactly uh, in the same place as the other side. And then I just tapped it around until it's exactly the same camber and the same caster. I just pointed at those the opposite directions, but you get it. Um, so now I can just build this suspension arm around it and it'll be exactly the same at the bottom of the travel.
that's both sides of the front suspension all tacked together. Um, there's a few more things that'll need to happen. There'll be some braces here and there. The next thing I'm gonna work on is I'm gonna start on the steering, and I won't be able to get too far on that because we don't have our steering wheel yet, but that should be here soon. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna make the steering arms, the little brackets that go on the spindle here and push it back and forth. And this time I'm going to give it Ackerman steering geometry, which is uh, you if you draw a line between this pivot point here and the pivot point on the steering arm, you draw a straight line between those two and have it meet at the center of the rear axle. And what that does is it makes the inside tire turn sharper than the outside tire. Um, and that makes it go around sharp corners better. Uh, it's a thing that's done on regular cars and all sorts of other things. So I'm gonna try it out, see if it makes any difference on this. Uh, so I'm gonna make these steering arms nice and heavy duty. I'll just start with this, uh, I think it's 3 16 plate and then I'll make some brackets and stuff. But to make sure they're exactly the same, I'm gonna tack these two pieces of metal together and then make all the holes and notches and stuff and then break them apart and it will be exactly the same. my bearing adaptation so now I've got a sleeve that's pressed into the bearing I can later on make some set screws in those and then I've got a bearing and then I've got a sleeve on the outside that can be welded onto the frame and uh, the steering is going to be very nice which has always been a problem in the other two is sloppy steering so we're not going to have any of that oh and I took the original Camaro steering wheel and smash it into there just for temporary so I can get an idea of uh, where things need to go.
First off, I had my Ackerman completely backwards when I was working on yesterday. So I talked about how you need to draw a line between the uh, steering arm pivot and the kingpin and meet in the middle of the axle, which is true if your steering arm is on the front of the spindle. Um, your steering arm is on the back of the spindle is the opposite. Uh, I can tell that's how it works. I'm going to set up the opposite way now on this side. Um, and my steering arm is a lot shorter so that it fits inside the wheel um, so that I can have that, um, that angle on this kind of here and this way instead of that way. Oh, by the way, <laughs> That's how we do it around here. So Ethan's been on the figure stuff out game and I've been on the pickup new merch game. We got oh, yeah, we gotta show those new off. Cinderella stickers and tees. Probably would have been better advertising if I'd put this on before that five minute tirade about steering. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. These shirts are awesome. They're, we went with a better quality shirt. They're way more, they're softer and more comfortable and uh, you know. They've got Cinderella on them. Grand Hard Plumbing Co., not a plumbing company. Yep, just in case anybody's still confused. <laughs> <laughs> this color's called silver. It's kind of a light gray. And I'm wearing the white one. This is 100% cotton. The cotton is from the US. They're printed here in North Idaho, so as local as we could get. So it took me all day to figure it out, but then once I got it, it only took me like 10 minutes to do the other side. So now we have steering. Obviously it needs some reinforcements, so that's next up. So I'll put this bearing, figure out how tall I want it and put the bearing up near the top for maximum rigidity. Well, that's an entire day on the steering and a half, but uh, it's, uh, it's done. I mean, Aside from being tacked together like everything else, all the bearings are supported. It's nice and sturdy. And uh, it works. Yeah, it was looking pretty dismal there for a while, but it came out really nice. From the driving position, seeing those front control arm, or yeah, the front suspension arms and those tie rods, like, it just looks awesome. So we're gonna wait on parts, then take a build on either that or that, and get back to this next week. The Camaro has the most amount of space by far. Yeah, we even got the dash on it. Look at that, we even kept most of the GPS. Yeah. <laughs> so that we can know where we're going. Old radio thing. We have everything. <laughs> Just to show you guys how hard this is to keep the plastic, let's show you the other builds real quick. So the Jeep was obviously our smallest build, but... It has 0% dash left. <laughs> yeah. Wait, and no, we added it's... an entire foot section here. Oh yeah, and we added a foot to the length of it. The Mustang has eh, most of it. The main yeah. chop out was just for the shifter and uh, the steering column. But yeah, it's but just still like ugly and... You know, yeah. <laughs> the Camaro is by far the sweetest of use, the sweetest use of the body. Yeah. The best use of least, the body. At least chopping. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's what you want. Yeah. I can't wait to get all of them ripping together. <laughs> yeah. 
we're gonna get some new wheels and tires for this because yep. we're gonna get some sweeter fitment and we shredded the tires at the race yep so there'll be an upgrade video on this coming up at some point whenever yep. we have time there you go